We're here with Glasgow Girls head coach Molly Monig after a 50-36 win over Harrisburg in the Glasgow Tournament Championship game. And coach, uh, just talk about the excitement for the girls. It's their first tournament championship here since 2001. And uh, the other big thing is it also comes over a team that's won this tournament championship the past four years. They're, I mean, it was very exciting. They were all very pumped and they've worked extremely hard to get to this point. And, you know, the locker room was a lot of front fun. We were respectful because we knew we had a great team beside us. But, you know, it's always nice to see hard work pay off in a good night. And uh, talk about the matchup uh, down the post between Chloe Franklin and Nikki Fimler. That looked to be a key matchup going into this game. And those are the girls, they scored the first eight points for each team in this game. So uh, it, it was pretty big back and forth between those two. Yeah, it was. Um, there are two very good players. A little bit, you know, different style. Nikki's more of a back-to-basket type post player. Franklin can come off the dribble a little bit. So we made an adjustment in the fourth quarter. Into the third quarter, fourth quarter, put Lindsay Cobb on her, and I think it really paid off for us. She didn't score in the fourth quarter. Lindsay was able to come out and contest her off the drive a little bit more. Uh, one of the things that really surprised me about championship game uh, was for quite a spell there in the second and third quarters, there were a lot of back and forth walking calls. And you, I, I don't know if it was jitters, but you don't really see that too much in a championship game. But uh, you had a couple of young teams out there. That's the one. Th that's the only thing I could really think of. Yeah, it was a lot of jitters, just like missing a lot of free throws, just things that you know we can do on a consistent basis. So it's just, I, th I think it was jitters. It may have been a little bit more, but you've got to realize you got two very fast paced teams. And it's hard to see from the crowd and the bench to see how fast things are moving and to see those kids make those adjustments. And then when you take a look at your mentioned free throws, I thought that was another big thing was uh, for you all to win by 14. That's very fortunate considering what you all did at the free throw line. Uh, very rarely does a Glasgow team shoot below 50%. And uh, that, that's one thing at least you could pull away one negative from this game is that uh, free throw shooting's got to improve for this team. Yeah, it, it's been very bad you know, the last three games. And you know, we shoot a lot of free throws in practice. It's just a mental block right now, I think. And tonight it may have been a little bit of jitters, but you know, we got to get over those things. we got to be able to step up. And a lot of us are walking away from the line instead of just stepping up and knocking shots down. And uh, in the third quarter, Peyton Davis goes down with uh, uh, what I heard. It seemed like a concussion. She had to leave the game for the rest of the way. Uh, just talk about how big of a blow that is to this team, because I'm trying to remember, I don't know if she had come out to the game up to that point. Yeah, um, you know, she's our point. She leads us in a lot of different ways. She gets us organized, and I thought that, you know, I thought Abby Thompson stepped up and was able to take the ball and do a very good job taking that position. Kind of changes our role as a scorer, but she did a great job handling the pressure for us, and we had, you know, Ann Reynolds came in and stepped up off the bench, and we had some kids step up when we needed them to. And just talk about that two- to three-minute stretch there in the fourth quarter where you all really seemed to pull away. Uh, very rarely do you see a Harrisburg team get flustered like that. Uh, you all were able to get a lot of easy baskets in transition, able to post up pretty well. Uh, that, just probably one of the best two, three minutes first I've seen out of this team. Yeah, I definitely agree. We were over on the sidelines and it just happened so fast and it was just, we got some steals and then we got some layups in the open court and it just seemed like the crowd exploded and the girls got excited and things just kept on following for us. And then uh, a couple of big games out of two players. Uh, I thought you really got an all-state performance again out of Nikki Fimler. I had her down for 16 points and 16 rebounds. And, uh, again, I know Franklin, I think, came away with 17 points, but a uh, pretty good game overall for Nikki. Yeah, I thought so also. She did a better job establishing herself and squaring up to the basket and making a post move. And, you know, she got some big boards for us, and she's a kid that's going to improve, you know, until she's done playing. She's just going to keep working. And another player, Aaron Reynolds, I thought, really came away with a quiet 16 points. She had a couple of huge threes that – uh, made a big difference in uh, the first quarter or first half, but I thought another big game out of her. Uh, you don't see too many kids have quiet 16 point games. Yeah, she did. She, you know, like you said, they were very quiet, but she was very good about catching and making a move and getting to the basket and finishing. And you know, she's got a lot of confidence right now, which is very good for us. And then uh, just a big start for this team. Uh, it's been quite a while since this team started the season four and zero. Uh, just talk about your thoughts on the way this season started so far. And, uh, again, it's huge to come away. As you know, as a player, it's huge to come away with a tournament trophy for first place in this thing. Yeah, I mean, definitely. It's very exciting. We've got a lot of things to work on. Like you mentioned, you know, free throw shooting. We're not running our offense extremely well from time to time. We still get a little rushed, and I know, you know, we're still kind of young, but we've had kids that have been playing three years now. we got to step up and be able to handle, handle pressure a little bit more. So we've got some stuff to work on, but we've got the right group of kids to do that.